Nah, Mbak bisa diolah. Dr. Wan, I will start for this class today. Maybe five minutes again, you can start for this class. Is it okay? Okay, okay. Sure, okay. sure. Thank you. Thank you. Mbak, saya mulai ya caranya. Yeah, yeah. Okay. For everyone, to those who has entered the room, we're about to begin. So please have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, to the Honorable Associate Professor Dr. Wan Salha Yusuf, as an Associate Professor and Research Fellow of Center of Excellence for Social Innovation and Sustainability from University Malaysia Perlis, and a very warm welcome to the participant and student from Stekom University. Is it indeed a pleasure to have all of you on this memorable occasion? And I would like to thank God for gathering us here in a visiting lecture program regarding management accounting, introduction to managerial accounting. Before we begin, please allow me to read our agenda this afternoon. First session class will be delivered by our guest lecturer, Associate Professor Dr. Wan Salha Yusuf. And finally, there will be a question and answer session after the presentation. And continue with a brief photo and I'm sorry, and continue with a brief for a photo session at the end. And we will start for this event today. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like I would like to remind all of the participants to turn off the microphone during the session. We will start for this class today for Associate Professor Dr. Wan. The time is yours. Thank you. Yeah, for Dr. Wan, you can start for this class today. Okay, thank you. Thank you, the chairman. Uh, give me a few minutes. Uh, okay. Actually, I have changed my laptop. That's why I need to look it back right now. That's okay. Everything okay? Okay. Okay, I've shared the slide. Can you see it? Yes, we can see, Miss. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, thank you for inviting me to present in this uh, session which is related to introduction to managerial accounting. Okay. Um, so without further ado, I would like to explain a bit that we share on what is managerial accounting actually. Um, you know. So the, we have three learning objectives for this uh, topic, which is uh, the first learning objective is related to a form of business and ownership. Definition of accounting, accounting discipline, accounting user rules and structure of monetary accounting. Uh, before that, uh, we will have a group uh, exercise after this. Uh, can we make an uh, in a group or not after this? Or cannot? Pardon? Oh, yeah. Um, I have some group exercise.
can we do it in a group or the class is uh, individually online? Individually online. Oh, okay. okay. So, uh, based on the form of business ownership, actually we have uh, three types of ownership. The first one is a proprietorship, which is owned by only uh, one person uh, in a company. So the owner is only one. And then uh, usually they, they are the, the uh, manager operating uh, of the company, they operate the company and, and they receive a profit and also they are uh, unlimited liability. So whatever happened to the company is uh, liable to the uh, that person. Okay, so the, the second type of uh, partner, uh, the second type of business is related to partnership which is uh, owned by two or more person. Okay, uh, the partnership uh, usually on retail and service type business, for example, uh, usually they have uh, uh, at the back of the company name, they will say as uh, dot .co. So this is a partnership company. Okay, uh, generally it's also an unlimited company. And the agreement is based on partnership agreement. Okay, so the owner of the company usually uh, a partner lah, um, two or more, uh, uh, usually a maximum of twenty. Okay, the third form of uh, corporation and uh, the third form of business we call it as a corporation. This one a lot of business uh, using a corporation because they want to secure their their liability. That's why uh, they form a corporation. So a corporation, a corporation is actually uh, have a stock dividend. And so the owner will receive a dividend. Okay, so they are a separate legal entity and it's organized under the state corporation law. Uh, we call it as a limited liability. So these three form of business uh, ownership. Uh, before that, I would like to know uh, the audience, is it from accounting um, student or mix? Okay. Can you hear my question? Uh, does <laughs> does uh, the student is from accounting student or is a mix? Mix. Oh, it's a mix. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... Um, that's why I need to start from uh, from the beginning lah on how to know about managerial accounting. Okay, so when we decide to form a business, we already have the owner of the company. So you can uh, form a business in different types. Okay, if uh, for Indonesian company, they are a local company which is a uh, perseron. Uh, terbatas. Uh, this is also known as a limited liability company, uh, which is they have a shares in the company, but this company is only consists of shares by local employee only. Okay. Uh, then we also have um, a foreign owned company, uh, which is uh, own uh, combining with local and foreign investor. Okay, we call it as APMA, which is a penanaman model asing. And then another type of uh, company or business, uh, you can form a representative office. Uh, this is only a branch from the overseas partner company. For example, uh, Maybank, uh, which is from Malaysia, but they, uh, they have a partner in uh, Indonesia. They have a branches in Indonesia. Okay, so this is a different, uh, three different type of company, uh, which is, can be formed in Indonesia. Uh, most of them, uh, the nature of business, it can be a manufacturing, which is produce a product uh, or trading, uh, which is the trading means uh, buy and sell a product. They are only uh, intermediate, okay? They are not producing. And then uh, services, the company that only provides services, for example, tax service, um, what else? Audit service, 
So this we call it as a services company. Okay, so the nature of business can be uh, three main type of business. Then uh, we need to know what is accounting all about. So accounting is actually defined as a sign and art of recording, classifying, summarizing, reporting, and interpreting financial and non-financial and monetary transactions. So they have few activities here. First, uh, the accountant need to identify all the documents related to the economic events. And then uh, they need to record accordingly and they need to classify based on the uh, accounting name and all that. And then uh, from that, they need to interpret to uh, prepare an accounting report, which from the data we can transpose or we can uh, transform it to the uh, communicate means we can uh, provide uh, information to the stakeholders, okay? So from a number of data, uh, it's transformed to a report which can be read or can be understand by uh, non-accounting members, okay? So, and also uh, they will provide an analysis and interpret for the user uh, for the purpose of internal and external user. So this is actually all about of accounting. Accounting is not only a bookkeeping function, which is just a record, uh, the account, uh, record the transaction, but accounting is actually cover all, cover on identifying, recording, communicate, and analyze. So it's a big picture of accounting actually. Okay, so uh, the accounting discipline actually uh, from the accounting. Um, we call it discipline, uh, it can be um, differentiate or you can it have a few different type of accounting, which is the first one is financial accounting. Okay, financial accounting, what they do is they provide a financial report and information. They provide a financial report and information for external user, external party. For example, for investor, government agency, bank, supplier, and also for you to know the business performance of the company, okay? So from here, they will come up with uh, annual report and also they come up with uh, financial and non-financial information. So for financial information, uh, we have four statements, which is uh, financial statements, uh, profit and loss statement. Uh, the financial statement consists of profit and loss statements and then financial position. Uh, then we have um, cash flow statement and also the other one is uh, equity statement. So these four main uh, financial information. And also uh, in annual report, which provide by fin financial accountant, which is chartered accountant, uh, they also provide non-financial information. For example, uh, what the company activities have done on CSR, on ESG environment, social and governance, and, and also the information on the board structure of the company, all cover under financial accounting. Okay. Whereas uh, for the managerial accounting, uh, actually it's related to internal decision of the company. Okay. Uh, so, uh, managerial accounting is more to analyzing the reports, financial report, and non financial performance, and make it uh, more information for manager to make a decision. Okay, so manager accounting more to internal information for the for the managers and also the employee to make a decision, and then uh, we have also cost accounting. Cost as accounting is really related to uh, costing a product. Lah. So it also consists of financial and non-financial, which is relate related to the cost and resources of the company. And then we also have governmental accounting. This is government account. So 
actually government account and corporate account is a different uh, presentation from uh, between both. Okay, so they have a specific government accounting uh, because uh, we have a, a country budget and all that. So it's not same. The presentation is not same like uh, the corporate form because um, the other thing is government uh, keep the asset or the yeah asset and liability of the public. That's why it will have a different type of accounting record. Then uh, the other accounting discipline that you can uh, look at it, which is on specialized accounting. Specialized accounting is a set of accounting rules and techniques that a specific type of accounting may use. For example, uh, we have uh, for, for agriculture sector, they have a specific agriculture accounting. Why? Because Actually, the the um, plant and animals uh, is their asset because it make a profit on it. So the presentation or recording the biological asset will be different. That's why uh, agriculture accounting they need a special accounting, which is we call it as agriculture accounting. Other than that, we have mining. Uh, oil and gas because they have a special uh, specific um, characteristic that can cannot cannot uh, record it as same as we record on manufacturing uh, services and trading okay so this uh, a few accounting discipline if you um, be as an accountant so you will look at this type or different type of accounting. So since we focus on managerial accounting for today, let's we look at the differences between financial and managerial accounting. Actually, uh, the financial accounting, the user is external user who use that information for making decision. For example, uh the stockholder or we call it as the, as the shareholder or the owner of the company who invest to the company they need to know the, 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 the company performance why because they want to know what uh, how much dividend that they will get okay then a, a creditor for example uh, they or we call it as a supplier so they need to know the performance of the company to know whether the company can pay their debt or not. Uh, for the regulatory, for example, they need to know uh, how much tax that the company need to pay. So the user of financial accounting is actually the external user. Meanwhile, the managerial accounting, the user is internal. Why internal? Because they need to analyze and to make a profit to ensure that company can make a profit. So the internal user will be the manager, the officer, and other employee. Type of report. So as what I have said just now, we have four types of report. Uh, yeah, this is an example. But for managerial accounting, there is no specific standard for reporting because uh, the, the manager needs to know more information. Uh, which is close to the performance of the company. So uh, they have mostly on uh, the costing method, lah. for example, job order sheet, cost of good manufacture, production cost, to know how to generate a profit. Okay. So uh, frequently, so financial accounting, usually quarterly or annually, but managerial accounting will be as, as frequent as they need for the manager to perform. Purpose is help those external users to make a decision, uh, credit term, investment, and other decision. But for managerial accounting, it's on internal user to plan, control, and making a decision as well. Focus uh, of report. So for financial accounting, since it's been used by uh, external user, that's why they need to follow 
the uh, accounting guideline. For example, uh, they need to follow the GAP structure. But for managerial accounting, since it's for internal user to make a decision, so it's not uh, mandatory to follow the GAP which is general acceptance principle, accounting principle. Uh, nature of reporting is more to monetary, means it provides uh, financial information, more to financial information, but uh, for manager accounting is more to posting. Verification report uh, should be audited by CPA, means should be audited by external auditor who have certified private accounting. But from Nigeria accounting, it's, it is independent. So no independent audits needed to, uh, to verify the report. Okay, it more close to the manager. So this is a few types of differences that you can look at. Um, on the difference between financial and managerial accounting. So as what I have said just now, the internet user, we have uh, the user inside the company. For example, financial department, they need manager accounting to know either the cash is su sufficient to pay the dividend or not, for example. So the director also not, need to know either uh, uh, it's, it's have uh, they, they can make a decision on a dividend or not. And then marketing. So they need to know the price of marketing. They need to know uh, on the marketing activity. So information on managerial accounting is really important. Human resource is to generate uh, the, uh, to plan for employee payment and, and management uh, for the production. So this is an example of internal user. Uh, the external user, of what I have said, the investor, the creditor, the government, to know the tax income, local public utility, charging a fair rate for its services. For, this, for the general public, it's more to uh, ESG, environment, social, and governance activity. Or before this, we call it as CSR, corporate uh, social responsibility. And also, in, uh, the customer need to know the product of quality, the product quality, and the supplier also need to know either the company have enough that uh, enough money to pay that or not. So this is um, example of external user to the company, which using financial accounting. This internal user they use managerial accounting. So I hope you you know a few differences between these two. Mm. Okay, I hope it's clear. Okay, if you are in a, a corporate board, so managerial accounting, accountant, they are under the uh, chief financial officer. So we have a top management here, top executive management, we, could, we call it as uh, chief executive officer. And then under it, there is a few, uh, the human resource, uh, the risk, uh, Audi, but uh, for managerial accounting to provide a managerial uh, accounting, they are under chief financial officer. So under chief financial officer, they will look at corporate controller, taxation, the treasury, risk management, investor relations, strategic planning, internal audit, so a lot of activities here. So here, they will have a management accountant. Okay, manager accountant will, will be placed here to do all the um, financial planning, the budgeting, uh, to know the profitability of the company, the inventory, the, the royalty, and so on. So here, the major accountant play their role in providing information to CFO and CEO and also the, the board of directors, okay? So 
the role of the manager accountant, they have a line position, which is directly to a basic objective of the organization. So they will plan, uh, control, and also uh, will make a decision based on, they will prepare the accounting information uh, for the company. Staff position is other supportive nature. Uh, they're indirectly responsible uh, with the organization basic account uh, objective. Uh, the controller is the supervisors. For example, we have um, um, we have uh, audit committee. Uh, we also have a risk management committee. Uh, they are the supervisor which also need to have uh, the qualification of accounting. Okay. And then uh, the treasury, some of the company have a treasurer, uh, especially for government, they will have a treasurer which is responsible for the financial function. So this a few roles of managerial accountant. Okay, actually I have uh, make an activity for you. Uh, I want you to do in a group, but since uh, we cannot place it in a group, so uh, please make it uh, individually. Okay, you can uh, find in uh, Bursa Effect Jakarta and Indonesia. This is uh, the stock exchange uh, in Jakarta for Indonesia. Uh, please uh, search this um, web link and then try to find out to list down at least 10 companies with a different nature of business and a different sector. So I have looked at uh, Indonesian uh, Bursa Effect. They have uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, nine uh, sectors. So for those who find out the company, please list down uh, the company name in the chat box. So we have 15 minutes. Uh, let's we get at least um, you how many students here? Uh, 30, 30, 31. So at least 30 uh, company that we can list down here. Uh, you put the company name and the sector. Stay waiting. Searching, searching. Let's look at your uh, stock exchange. Let's know your own stock exchange and look at the list of um, public listed company in Indonesia. Okay, make note on it. So try to provide as much as you can on the company name and its sectors. Yes, good. Rajesh Shavuri, Piti Sawit, Sam Bermas Sarana. I'm not good in Indonesia stock exchange, but this will give me some information as well. Bank Negara Indonesia, is it? Bank Negara Indonesia is under uh, listed companies? Oh, it's under government company. If Malaysia is under government, so we have a different type of accounting just now, right? right? We have a different type of a presentation. One is on public accounting. Um, another one is on uh, government. Okay. Uh, the code in the stock exchange is, oh, okay, good. So in Indonesia, Bandungara Indonesia is under uh, listed company. Okay, thank you. New information for me.
yeah, it's a gov which one? Which one actually? Government bank? Oh, but now government bank uh, also listed in in Bursa. Is it? If in Malaysia, if it is under the, the government, uh, it's not listed under the Bursa. It's only a private limited company, absolutely public limited company. Mm, okay. So who else? Please, please, please. We have another 10 minutes. Okay, we get another one. Industrial and chemical. PT cement industry. Eh, sorry, PT cement Indonesian, huh? Indonesia. Okay, service investment. Ilang mahkota technology. Agriculture, who knows? The company name, the listed company name in agricultural sector. Oh, mining, Aneka Tambang. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Just five. We have another eight minutes. We have, let's we do an exercise. Agriculture, what the big agriculture industry uh, company, um, limited company in Indonesia, of course, you have it. If you look at uh, Bursa Effect Jakarta and Indonesia, you can get a lot of list of limited company. Ya, mungkin bagi Bapak Ibu peserta yang belum paham dengan maksud tersebut, uh, bahwa Ibu ini memberi pertanyaan dan peserta berharap memberikan feedbacknya. Seperti itu ya. Bagi yang sudah paham bisa menuliskan jawabannya di kolom chat. Terima kasih. Oke, okay. infrastructure utilities, uh, tele telecom Indonesia. In Indonesia we have telecom. DG Ya, mungkin Bapak Ibu peserta yang di YouTube juga bisa menjawab. Nanti kita sampaikan ke narasumbernya. Terima kasih. Nah, properti real estate. Uh, Pertamina is uh, one of the... Uh, oil and gas industry, right? Am I right? Yeah, thank you. 
So I hope you you have looked at it. Uh, try to explore more on Bursa Effect Jakarta and Indonesia to get more information on uh, businesses, uh, big business in Indonesia and Jakarta. Okay. Yeah, good. Mostly on mining, but I still waiting for agriculture. You have from YouTube as well, okay. So it's already 15 minutes now. So let's we um proceed with the next. So I hope that after this you look at it uh, and get more information on Rufsa Effect Jakarta. Ah, we already have here. PT Teladan Prima Agro. So one of the example of the listed company on agriculture in Indonesia. Okay. So that's all for learning objective one. So let's move to the learning objective two. Uh, accountant management to conduct relevant cost analysis. What question? Okay, I didn't understand. Okay, learning objective two is related to managerial accounting activities uh, and also the current focus of managerial accounting. Actually, what it means by managerial accounting, uh, they have done uh, three main different activities. First, they do a planning. So they plan, uh, formulate uh, to achieve a particular and is the management activity called planning. Planning is a setting a goal for the company, uh, which is it will be based on vision, mission, and objective for the company as well to achieve the vision, mission, and objective on the company. So they need to plan uh, not only on uh, finance, but also they need to plan the costing on other department as well. For example, for HR department, uh, for operating department, so they also have their own uh, financial planning. So we call it as a planning, or, or some of uh, fillers say it as a budgeting, okay? Planning or budget. So if uh, in, in Indonesia, uh, for the country, we call it as a government budget. Lah. Uh, and then controlling. Controlling is the managerial activity of monitoring and plan implementation and taking corrective action as needed is referred to as controlling. Controlling means uh, we try to compare between um, the actual and uh, what we have expected, what we have planned with the actual activity. So this comparison, we call it as a controlling. Usually controlling has been done by auditor uh, the, and also risk, uh, risk management. So they, they do a controlling. Uh, to know the performance, the quality of the product, uh, so the quality of um, the standard, for example, they also do a controlling to know the performance of the company, what we need to improve more. Uh, so from controlling, we will make, make a decision making. So these three different uh, broad objectives of managerial accounting. Decision making means uh, the, 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 the accountant need to choose the best alternative for uh, in making a decision. Okay. Saya berbahasa Melayu. Uh, ada tiga aktiviti utama untuk uh, perakaunan pengurusan. Pertama adalah perancangan. Kita perlu mulakan dengan perancangan, budget. Daripada perancangan, kita perlu ada kontrol, kawalan. Um, membandingkan di antara uh, maklumat sebelum atau maklumat yang telah dirancang dengan maklumat yang sebenar. Daripada pembandingan ini, kita dapat membuat satu keputusan yang lebih efektif untuk uh, memilih 
alternative terbaik. So these three things we call it as the objective or the definition in managerial accounting. This is uh, only as, as an example. So in planning, they do a budgeting. So they will keep in manager accounting system, okay? financial rep uh, representation of plans. So they will plan on the cost, on the sale, advertising, the revenue, all the operating system they need to plan. Then control, for example, uh, by uh, recording, classifying, reporting. So from here, inform the, the information they can make as a control to know the performance of the company is it good or uh, in other way. Okay. Decision making, we have two types of decision making. One is a short term decision making, uh, which, which is less than one year and the long-term decision-making. For the short-term decision-making, uh, for example, uh, we need to make a short decision either uh, the company will build in or they will buy from other resources, outsource or uh, in-house. Okay? Uh, sama ada kita buat sendiri atau kita beli daripada luar. So, we need to do some accounting formula uh, to know which method is uh, relevant um, to get more profit. Okay. Another example is a special offer. For example, we get a special offer. Uh, usually, uh, our normal production, uh, we charge 20 ringgit. So 20... Uh, Indonesia dollar, eh, 20,000 Indonesia dollar. Eh. Okay. But now it's reduced to 10%. So, but with, uh, with a special unit that, 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 that we can produce more. So either we want to accept this special order or we will drop this special order. This is, we call it as a short-term decision making. And then uh, another example is key or drop decision. For example, we have four line of production. Uh, uh, kita produce uh, kasut sukan, kasut apa, uh, sepatu eh, di sana. Uh, oh, okay. Sport shoes, um, working shoes, school shoes, for example. So, but the, 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 the sport shoes, uh, we have uh mm, problem in producing the cost is high that's why we will get less profit so now we need to make a decision either we want to drop off this line of production or we want to continue so there is some element of formula that we need to do to make uh, this decision this we call it as a short-term decision making so if you take account uh, managerial accounting cost you will learn on how to make a decision on this uh, keep or drop decision line. Okay. And then sell or for the process means either we, will, for example, we have abundance of uh, apples. So does we want to sell it as it is or we want to further process to be as a gem so this decision, we call it as also as a short-term decision making. So which one it will make a profit? So they will have an alternative on it and also they have a corporation on it. So this will be learned by students who do managerial accounting. Then for the long term means uh, the decision making, which is more than one year. For example, uh, the strategic vision of the company uh, to meet a goal objective of the company. So to involve in large sum of monetary value for the, the investment to make investment decision. Uh, another one, uh, what else? Uh, example, we do a budgeting, a costing method, strategic cost, performance management system. So all these relate to a long-term decision making, okay?
the current focus of managerial accounting. So what the current topic that the manager, uh, accounting manager um, talk about, okay? What the current focus of uh, managing accounting manager, manager accounting activities that most of the country, uh, the whole world will look at it, okay? The first one is related to new method of costing product and service. So we have a few type of costing method. Uh, for example, activity-based costing, job order costing and process costing. So which type of costing method that the company will make a decision to do on it? So different type will have a different formula in calculating the cost. For example, if you want to calculate um, one product, um, for example, Madu Lebah, so you want to, to know uh, the cost of uh, one can of Madu Lebah. So how to do it? They have a three different type of costing method. So the company will make a decision which method that we use. So they have a different reason why they use a different method. And ABC means activity-based costing. The activity, the, the cost will be based on how many activities that they have done. Okay. For example, from uh, producing uh, from raw material, then they will do um, handling the product, then they will produce, then they will package, packaging. So all these different, different activity, they will uh, calculate the cost differently. So this we call it as activity-based costing. The cost is calculated based on the activity that has been done to complete the whole structure of the operation. Okay, job or the costing means uh, the costing is based on job means usually it's on special products. For example, uh, tailor, okay, tailor, they have a different, uh, they have a different type of uh, size, right? Dif different uh, special requires on producing um, a shirt, for example. So that's why they will have a different job to complete it. That's why we call it as a job order costing. Process costing means it based on process. Usually it's a common or standardized product. For example, uh, to produce um, a can of, uh, to produce a mineral, mineral water. So uh, we have the same type of mineral water with a, a huge bulk. That's why uh, we will use the company will use process costing. So this will is a new method of costing product and service that has been discussed in managerial accounting today. And then on the value change. So as actually accounting is not only to do the account, but they cover all the department, all the structure of the company. So for the value chain, is the company. Uh, we look at on how to increase profit or how to reduce cost based on value change. Does the manager accounting need to think on for each department, how they can cut the costs and or how they can um, increase the quality, for example. So what the R&D budget they need to, to provide to make sure that the company provide a good quality of product. Uh, how in design, what machine, a new machine that we need. So uh, what the costing of it. So this uh, record it as a value change. They try to reduce cost and increase profit based on analysis of different uh, degree of value change until the customer service. For example, uh, what the customer service that the company can give, uh, is it give a discount or the company can give uh, a warranty? 
So what the customer feedback? So all this related with the cost and need to count under managerial accounting. Okay. Then we look at a cross function perspective. If the company objective is on cross such a function perspective, means that the accountant, the managerial accountant is not doing accounting, but they also need to integrate with other expertise in different departments. For example, they not only need to know uh, how to do accounting, but they also need to know uh, what the spec of the engineering product, for example, what the spec of designing uh, some product or designing, uh, for, for example, if a construction. So what the specific uh, aspect of construction, the skill. So that's why I mean, accountant, they are not only need to have accounting um, skill, but also now they need to integrate with uh, many type of skill so that uh, they can grab it and, and provide a good costing for the company. Okay, and then uh, another strategy that company can use is on to total quality management. It's a continuous improvement. That's why they will do uh, auditing to improve on the performance of the company. Other than that, they will also uh, implement environment, social and governance strategy uh, on how to reduce waste, uh, how to increase quality and how to manage the cost. So this we call it as a total quality management. And then strategic positioning. If the company uh, have their strategic positioning, uh, we have two types of strategic pos positioning. Either the company want to be as a cost leadership or they want to look at the superior product. If they want to be a cost leadership, so they try to reduce the cost so that the buyer can buy, can buy at a lower cost compared to the competitor. But if their strategy is superior product through differentiation, they try to differentiate their product to have a specialty of the product so that they can compare with their competitors. This we call it as a strategy, strategic positioning, also under uh, a part of under managerial accounting, and also in business as well. Another one is on customer orientation, which look at on how to improve the value of customer. So what activity that the company need to do, how to provide a budget for it to, to satisfy our customer. So customer come first, they will provide a good value to customer so that the company can increase the profit. So this is all the current focus that has been looked by managerial accountant today. So I hope I have um, explained a bit on it. And then uh, the key success factor, what the main things that managerial accountant need to have or need to achieve is for cost uh, and efficiency, the quality of the product, the time management to, to improve the time uh, on production, for example, to improve the time or the quality and then the, to increase the innovation. And the important thing is to sustain the company. So this is the five key success factors that the, 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 the accountant look at, at it to achieve a customer perspective and also to achieve a company direction. So actually I have given it to you a case study. Mm, uh, we start at three, uh, four, five. We have another one hour actually, right? But since you cannot do it in a group, but maybe we can do it uh, together here. So we have another, we have 30 minutes to do it. Uh, let's read the case study. This is a real case study and try to implement or give um, suggestion 
on how to improve uh, the Gojek performance uh, with this case study. So you can write down, write down in the chat box your suggestion. You have 30 minutes to do it. I think all of you know already what it means by Gojek. Gojek is an Indonesian technology. Yeah, yeah. Company that introduced a ride uh, hailing service in Jakarta to connect riders with drivers through a mobile apps. Okay. The comp I think most of you have used, uh, is a user of this project, right? The company also provides various other services such as food delivery, parcel delivery, and cleaning services. Despite rapid growth and success in the right healing market, Gojek was facing challenges in managing the cost associated with its expect, expanding services and ensuring profitability. Gojek telah mengeluarkan pelbagai produk uh, dan um, sukses dalam perkhidmatan penghantaran tetapi yang mempunyai masalah dari segi menguruskan kos with its expanding service and ensuring profitability untuk menentukan uh, keuntungan syarikat yang lebih bagus. Untuk mengatasi masalah ini, Gojek telah uh, implement Managerial Accounting System telah menggunakan Managerial Accounting System untuk uh, mengetahui lebih lanjut bagaimana menguruskan kos. This system including budgeting, cost value profit and variance analysis. Jadi untuk implement Managerial Accounting, uh, setelah implement Managerial Accounting, Gojek telah menghadapi performance yang bagus tapi Gojek juga hadapi masalah dari segi penggunaan sistem tersebut. Di antaranya adalah accurate and timely data, employee refuse tidak tidak tak, tak tidak mahu menggunakan sistem yang baru, and then uh, competing perlu bersaing dengan traditional taxi service. Kemudian uh, perlu menghasilkan kepelbagaian budaya untuk negeri tersebut. Jadi sebagai manager of Hampton, I advise Gajet untuk bagaimanakah untuk improve financial performance tersebut. So tadi kan kita dah belajar banyak-banyak strategi. Can you list down any strategy that we can improve? The performance of project. Okay. Mostly menggunakan YouTube ya. Pardon. Mostly uh, student use YouTube. Yes. Yeah, let's we'll look at YouTube as well.
Okay, bisa dijawab di uh, YouTube dan juga bisa dijawab di uh, Zoom. Okay. Cadangkan uh, strategi yang boleh digunakan oleh Gojek untuk improve the performance of the company, the financial performance of the company. Yes, good. One of the strategy that we can use, which is total quality management. So by using a total quality management, uh, we can improve the quality. Uh, can we give an, an example what quality that we need to improve here? Yeah, some of you talk about uh, artificial intelligence, okay, to detect traffic in city. Okay, so now you are thinking on, remember, we have manager accounting, we look at planning, controlling, and also decision making. So your example here, total quality management, artificial, uh, artif, uh, artificial intelligence, this is example of controlling activities. So what else, if you can have more, uh, you can list down as much as you can, it will provide a good discussion here. Okay, combined with CRM. So can you give an, an example of CRM? What we what the company can do in CRM? Customer um, relationship management. So maybe they provide uh, they provide one, we call it as what one stop center. Eh? Oh, 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 no, no, we call it as payment gateway, right? They provide a payment gateway to customer. So customer can pay uh, cashless, right? No need to bring a cash, so they just can pay cashless by using a payment gateway. So this is an example of uh, um, customer relationship management because it, it, it solved the problem of customer in paying decision. Okay. Other example, any more example? Actually, Gojek is close, very close with you. So you as a customer, you know the main problem of them and maybe you can provide a good alternative to improve their performance. So by providing payment gateway, uh, the company also can uh, structure on the traffic just now, uh, detect a traffic by using the payment gateway also, they, they can reduce the time on, produce, uh, on paying Other than that, yeah, it's good. Another, another thing, uh, what we need to do here to improve the, okay, how we can do to ensure that the employee can um, accept a new technology, a new accounting technique, for example, a new technology, for example, the payment gateway is a new technology. So how we can ensure that the employee uh, can accept this new technology? What, what activity that we can do?
thing and thing and thing. Yeah, go pay. Which can be used not only while using Gojek, but can be used to pay in another payment uh, merchants. Oh, partner merchants. Oh, it's like here in Malaysia, we call it as a touch and go. Okay. Uh, so in Indonesia, we call it as go pay. Okay. So this is another activity that Gojek have done it. Create more collaboration with many company to provide a shuttle car uh, business or motor for the employee. Ah, yes, we call it this. We call it as a, a partner. Uh, who are our key partners? So one is one of our key partners is actually our competitor. If we can co cooperate with our competitor, we can make more benefit to the company and more profit to the company. That's why this suggestion uh, provided by Novita, which is create more coverage with uh, the other um, transportation partner, uh, we also can increase the profit of the company. Okay, good. For the employee, how, how, how we can make them known the new technology, what we need to do? HR, who from HR, student? What we need to do? The simple thing that we can do to improve the learning. Provide, yes, provide a training, okay? So we need to provide a training to illiterate uh, technology uh, employee, okay? So that they know a new technology, they know how to use the technology. Then uh, another challenge is, okay, this one we have done it, competing with traditional taxi. So we do a co cooperation with them. So then, then we can reduce uh, the competitor. And then uh, expand its service to other party to country. Uh, okay, now how to expand the service of Gojek to, to other country, uh, other part of the country? Yeah, how to expand the Gojek uh, services? You have any idea? Uh, for example, does any state didn't, didn't have a Gojek service? Why they didn't get it and how to improve, how to make sure that our, our market segment is uh, bigger than what we have done now. How to improve our market segment by providing uh, what services that we can provide to them so that we can extend the services to other part of the country. Okay, you understand what I mean? Maksudnya, apakah service? yang Gojek boleh berikan agar negeri-negeri uh, yang tidak memiliki perkhidmatan Gojek dapat menikmati perkhidmatan tersebut juga. Uh. Okay, uh, collaborate with other taxi in foreign country. Um, maybe uh, company kot. Company good. It's not with a taxi, but uh, company provided a healing service as a foreign healing service provider. Okay, collaborate with. Foreign. Healing Okay, another example, contohnya, uh, 
di mana dalam Indonesia yang tidak ada perkhidmatan Gojek dan kenapa ia berlaku? How to improve to ensure that all people in Indonesia can get these services? Ha, example. You have any idea? Oh, actually, I didn't know. <laughs> actually, already all 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 the the uh, Indonesia warga Indonesia pun ada perkhidmatan tersebut. Yeah, go food. Okay, see here. Okay, let's I read this. It's good uh, discussion. The first one uh, we can start from go food or their payment technology, the integrated payment method. So we will introduce it step by step. Actually, not every Gojek service should be provided. Okay, like Gojek service may be not needed so much in country which using public transport but they can provide go food for food delivery and so on. So this strategy, what strategy do we do? Actually, this show that we try to provide um, strategic positioning by providing a different services, different product. Okay, kita cuba memperbanyakkan produk perkhidmatan yang ada dengan wawasan syarikat untuk menjadi leader kepada kepelbagaian produk. So this is also good uh, discussion and good example. Okay. Africa does, does not have Gojek, we need to market to this country. <laughs> That is good idea as well. Because African also have uh, um, a good population, they have a lot of uh, population right okay we have another two minutes let's we finish with the another okay another thing here the problem uh to diversify need and cultural of different region jadi uh budaya berbeza bagaimana untuk gojek memastikan perkhidmatannya adalah selaras dengan kepelbagaian budaya yang berada di di Indonesia. Maybe on maybe on marketing what they have done? Untuk mencapai kepelbagaian budaya. Food Of course, different type of food. Satu lagi example. Saya masih menunggu satu lagi jawapan. Terakhir. Untuk memenuhi keperluan kepelbagaian budaya. Apa strategi that Gojek boleh buat? Uh, let's we look at uh, this in this type function. What else? Customer orientation, I think. Innovation. Apa inovasi kita boleh buat untuk memenuhi kepelbagaian budaya or sustainability that we can do? One more example, can you give it to me? Satu lagi, satu lagi. <laughs> Thinking more is good. <laughs> I also think, try to think on it. <laughs> But I think it's more to marketing good marketing on how how to market based on different how to make sure that different cultural uh, different races or different ethnic have the same uh, intention to use Gojek. 
Das then why? Ah, oh, dressing marketing. <laughs> okay, lah, we can use it. So that's all. Is this is how we do a real case study on accounting? Okay, if you take an accounting course, you will have one topic which is on real case study. So here, uh, a group of students need to think of on how to improve the company performance by integrated all the accounting topic or all the account subject that they have take to improve the company performance. Okay, so you have done it by using thirty minutes. Is good, uh, good uh, discussion. Thank you for involving. Okay, last one. Learning objective three. Learning objective three is about professional ethic and uh, certificates. Okay. In account uh, management accounting, uh, usually uh, we have also other uh, uh, public accounting and management accounting. But since we look at a management account, so we follow the Institute of Management Accountants, which we call it, uh, I, we call it as IMA, has advanced four standard of ethical conduct for management accountants. One is competency. The C means that the company, the, sorry, the accountant who want to be an accountant, uh, management accountant, they need to be competent. Not only have a uh, accounting skill, but they also need to competent with other skill that can fulfill their responsibility on providing information, managerial information to their company. For example, the mining company, they also need to have a skill on. Uh, a, a, a little bit skill on mining, for example, to know on how to do a costing on mining industry. So competency is very important. That's why uh, accountant, they all usually have CPA, which is, we call it as continuous professional uh, what, CPA uh, assessment, means they need to improve, the, they need to have a training session, at least 40, 40 times, no, 40 um, hours, okay, per year to improve their competency. Then confidentiality. So as an accountant manager, they need to know what information should be proposed as confidential and what is need to be disclosed. So the, the confidentiality is very important. Integrity. Integrity means our self-integrity. Uh, either we have a conflict of interest. If we have, we need to disclose the conflict of interest so that we can improve our integrity. So, sebagai contoh, rasuah, mengurangkan rasuah. Kalau ada hubungan keluarga dalam company, need to disclose so that we can increase our integrity. Credibility means whatever that uh, is responsible, we need to do it uh, to achieve the company objective. Okay, so these are professional ethics uh, that uh, has proposed by IMA, which need to be uh, an ethic of uh, MA, Manager Accountant. And then we have also Sabanis uh, Oxley Act, SOX, uh, is a legislation was passed in 2000 in response to a series of corporate scandals because they have a lot of corporate scandal and now real so it keep increasing. So the act focused on improving uh, the internal control, corporate governance, monitoring and disclosure practices. So this is another subtopic, uh, another topic or subject that the accounting uh, student will take. Okay. Certification, the accounting profession offers three major forms of certification to managerial accounting. One is certified in manager, management accounting, CMA, CPA, chartered public accounting, and also internal auditing. If you are as external auditor, means you already have chartered in public accounting. CPA, uh, for, for external, uh, external 
auditor, they need to have CPAs. So C CPA will cover everything. Then if you want to focus on management, you also can have CMA, or you want to focus on auditing, you can have uh, CIA. So these three main certificate in professional accounting. Ah, we have another example here. They need to learn and adapt each country cultural and then do marketing accordingly. Uh, like nowadays, most people in Asia more likely efficient and spend so much time in phone. Yes, good. You already find out the, the, the customer problem here. So they can do advertising which can attract them. Yes, they can do research on mark, market and based on each country interest, they can provide their services. Yes, good. So they can keep counting, develop new services based on market. Because nowadays, the most suitable company are a company who can satisfy their customer. Yes, you are right. Customer-based marketing man, by learning their habits, interests, culture, and so on. So it's good. Uh, Example here, uh, one, you already identify the customer habits here, which is uh, spend much time on phone. So by looking at their uh, weaknesses, we can, a problem, we can provide an opportunity to improve the performance of the company. Okay, good. So, our last uh, slide here, but we have three, uh, what, three channel, nah? video, three video here, uh, how to use it. Okay, this video is explaining on how to become a managerial accountant. Yeah. Can you see, can you see the video or not? Yes. Yeah, okay, so I proceed now. We can hear voice of this video, please. Yes. Cannot. But you cannot see the video. No, okay, no, let's so. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -huh. How about now? Uh, we cannot hear voice. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I open it. I, I open it uh, back. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Still not working, Miss. Which one not working? The video. No. Uh, yes. Sound of video. Now, okay. Maybe you can share screen, include the soon. Again? Again? What you said just now? Maybe uh, you yeah. stop video, close. Uh, uh. I can what? Uh, maybe you can share screen with the uh, available of zone because we cannot hear the voice of this video, Miss. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, thank you. In um, okay, now let's I I share with you this oh. video, this three video. So I hope that you will look at it. Uh, get know about the accounting when I put it in the chat box. 
Okay, the first one is on how to become an accountant. Uh, another one is on what the performance, uh, what the need of uh, a real company in Indonesia that push a need for accountant. Okay, this one, the second one. Okay. And the last one is what the testimony of uh, Pemegang Gelar Certified Professional Management Accountant. So from your country, what they are advised. So when you look at it, uh, you will have an idea on how to become an accountant, a um, manager accountant, and it will give motivated to you to pursue a study in accounting. So that's all, thank you. And is, there is a Q&A session. Okay, thank you for Dr. Wan Salha for your presentation. It's very amazing. And then for all audience, we will go to the next session, question and answer session. For all audience, if you want to ask question, you can raise your hand or you can write in room chat. Okay. I will read first question. This is from Miss. Sometimes I'm a little confused. What is the difference between financial accounting and managerial accounting? This is same or different? This is question from Miss Sukamto. Thank you. Okay. Um, actually, managerial accounting and financial accounting is uh, difference, mostly difference. Because uh, financial accounting is for external user, okay? So what you look at the annual report from the company, have you looked at the annual report of the company, any company, so that the presentation of annual report, of annual report has been done by managerial accountant, uh, sorry, financial accountant, financial accounting. The information we call it as financial accounting. But for managerial accounting, uh, it, it has a same term, have a same uh, recording, but in a different structure. For example, they are looking for on how to uh, do a budgeting, on how to do uh, a costing for one product. So the analysis, internal analysis that used by the internal user, which is by the management, by manager. So this was provided by managerial accountant. We call it as a managerial accounting. So this different, uh, the, the two different uh, presentation on financial and managerial accounting. But the, the person who prepared it can be a, a public accountant or MIA, sorry, uh, management accountant. Okay. Okay, thank you for answering. And then we will go to the next question. How we can, um, this is question from audience in YouTube, Miss Dia Rahmi. My question is about the program of the accounting management on the machine electronic on cashier, cashier at minimarket or supermarket that using accounting format such as buku kas, buku besar, neraca, and any, and any other. I mean here cash book, letter, and balance set on a, set on accounting. This is our my question. Thank you. Uh, can, can, can you repeat again? <laughs> the question? Uh, maybe I will write in the Zoom chat. It's, okay. Yeah, thank you. The program of the accounting management on the machine electronic on casual at mini market or small market that using accounting format such as, okay, I mean here cash book ledger, okay, on accounting. Okay, uh, this is a form accounting format which is 
has been used uh, was uh, are used by financial accountant and also are used by managerial accountant. The format is same on how to record, how to provide uh, cash book, buku cash, uh, buku cash book. I think here, uh, buku besar. May maybe this one is what uh, profit and loss. Uh, buku besar. Neraca, uh, I didn't know what it means in here, but uh, balance sheet, balance sheet, uh, ledger. So this is the circle of, uh, sorry, accounting circle. What you need to do to provide the final one, the final result is reporting. So it should start with uh, providing uh, cash book, uh, providing all the transaction from the transaction you transfer the data towards uh, journals and then transfer to ledger transfer to tribunals transfer to um, financial statement and lastly to annual report so all this we call it as accounting circle so as an accountant they need to do all this either it is from financial or it's from managerial accounting Okay, this is the basic things that accounting will do. Uh, this will translate the first thing in defining the accounting, which is on identify, record, communicate, and uh, analyze. Okay. Okay, thank you for answering. And may I asking, Miss? <laughs> okay. In a company have a corruption and we as a accounting manager have no profit in our production that we are working on a required cost for production materials and what decision must be made by finance in dealing with this. How do we cover the loss of money? Thank you. Okay, uh, it's related to... Um, it's related... To uh, bribery, right? It's related to bribery. So actually, um, if the company have a good internal system, internal control system, so they can improve the problem of bribery. For example, they have a good on um, uh, what a privacy. For example, on who will sign the check. For example. Uh, who uh, will, uh, can access the accounting system. So if they, they can provide a safety uh, system for the company or they can improve uh, the internal control system so they can ensure that there is a less uh, bribery problem in the company, okay? Okay, thank you for answering Dr. Wan. And then this is, uh, we have Mr. Adi Nukroho. Presiden Jokowi yang memberikan ujian kepada penjabat gubernur DKI Jakarta. Apa itu? Can you hear my voice? Berita, berita terbaru. <laughs> for Mr. Adi Nukroho, the time is yours. Thank you. Yeah, uh, can you hear my voice? Yes, yes, sure. Okay, uh, I would like to ask about the standardized because uh, when we are talking about financial accounting, it has it must standard because it's read by uh, by external people yes. by, by everyone, so it has to be standard. And in the management accounting, is it there is an standardization for management accounting, and is there any Audition, eh, auditing, sorry, auditing process, auditing company, external auditing company to do uh, management accounting audition, eh, audit, auditing. Is it, is it, uh, there's a standard and is it, is, is there any company to, to, uh, uh, to, to do external review in the management accounting? Okay, okay. thank you. Good question. Uh, okay, actually, we have uh, a standard, a standard for 
uh, preparing an account, okay? But for financial accounting, they need to follow uh, the standard, uh, the accounting standard, because it will present it to the public, right? Yeah. And we need to ensure that we have a same standard uh, overall in the world, yeah. okay? So that's why it will reduce a problem of understanding the information. It will reduce, it will increase more information to the stakeholder. That's why we need to follow the standard. Yeah. However, for managerial accounting, uh, is not bound compulsory with the standard. Why? Because uh, each management, they need a different information to make a decision, okay? Yeah. So they have a few standards, but it's not compulsory to follow. However, all the information that has been done, they also have managerial accounting report. And this managerial accounting report will be uh, audited by auditor, but it's on mm. internal auditor. For the uh -huh. external auditor, they will look at the, the financial accounting report, which is the annual report, and they need to justify on, on it. Okay. okay, because it will provide to the public. Okay, uh, so uh, the the auditing is only is only on the internal side, inter in, in on the internal mm -hmm. auditor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, thank you for the. And internal auditor and internal auditor will will um will do both for as the for financial and managerial accounting. So actually, they provide two type of accounting report. Okay. okay, thank okay. you. Thank you for answer. And the last question, how we can make the right accounting strategy to deal with loss or bankruptcy that can cause market failure? This is question from Ms. Fabriana. Thank you. Okay, so the accounting, the marketing strategy, of course, we will look at the uh, current focus here, this will give you an idea on how to improve the cost and uh, the management also need to know on how to identify what the cost is relevant and what is not relevant, how to achieve, uh, how to get uh, opportunity costs, uh, how to reduce the risk. So there's a few strategy the uh, management accounting need to do. And if you take accounting subject, so you will learn more on it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I think it's very clearly answered from Professor Rapp. I guess no, don't have no more question again from our audience. Um, I will go to the next session for them take a picture for documentation. Is it okay, doctor? Okay. Sure. Okay. For this session, will be handled with Miss Febri. Thank you. Uh, okay, thank you, Miss Novita. Uh, for those who haven't yes. activated the camera, you can active the camera first so mm -hmm. we can take photos together. Ya, bagi peserta yang belum mengaktifkan kameranya, bisa diaktifkan terlebih dahulu agar kita bisa mendokumentasi acara pada siang hari ini. Mas Faiz, mungkin kameranya, Mas. Baik, saya hitung dari one, two, three. Oke, okay. once again. One, two, three. Oke, okay. thank you. I will return the event to Miss Novita. Thank you for Miss Febri. Finally, we come to the end of visiting lecture today. We would like to say thanks again for Associate Professor Dr. Wan Salha for 
wonderful information. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. We hope this information will be beneficial for our audience. And I hope we can meet again in another event in the future. Also, I would like to thanks for all participants for attending this class today and making this even more interesting. At least, we hope to have more collaboration in the future. The visiting lecture today for today and here, we hope to see you soon. Thank you and have a nice day and goodbye. Thank you so much for Dr. Wan for joining this event today. Welcome. Thank you also for inviting me as a speaker. Yes, nice to see you, you again. Thank you, Thank you to Miss uh, Novita and Fabriana. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you for Mr. Henke for always joining in our event. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Goodbye Bye. and see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye see you again. Yeah. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Yeah, terima kasih. Uh, bagi yang belum absen, silakan absen terlebih dahulu. Link absen sudah tertera di kolom chat. Saya kira cukup. I think that's enough for today's event. Uh, thank you. Good afternoon. Have a good rest. Bye-bye.